So in early May, I uh, took a flight up to see if we could uh, find 399 and where we thought her den was. We flew around quite a bit, uh, quite a ways up into the wilderness. Didn't didn't know she had bred again. She had lost her her two cubs uh, last summer. So I thought, well, I wonder if she'd have cubs again this year. And uh, there she was on a ridge. And she had three new cubs again. This is her third set. It was amazing. It was just a, a real um, unbelievable sight. And we flew around, came back around, and we saw her just laying there nursing on this ridge with the three cubs. Then right below where she was, you could see her den at the base of a tree. It was like a miracle that we found her. It was just so um, so great just to see her. There wasn't much opportunity to get pictures, but uh, so it was kind of really exciting to not have to rely on a call or a radio signal or a transmitter to, to find her, kind of the old-fashioned way. And then uh, two weeks later, she showed up on Pilgrim Creek Bridge. She uh, was obviously trying to get across the bridge there, but the there's a lot of people, a lot of construction, and she couldn't cross the river there with the cubs. It was too, too rushing and, and dangerous. She finally did after two and a half days of walking back and forth, and the little cubs were, all this was brand new highways and cars and people on the bridge, and I wonder what went through their little heads that well, this is a really different world in the wilderness area. And then she walked along the sagebrush and went up the uh, Pilgrim Creek Road. It was just really heartwarming to see her taking the cubs where she had taken six, ten, her other other triplets and her other cubs over the years. And the cubs would play and they'd roll, and but they didn't get very far from mom. They stayed right close to mom. Three weeks later, four weeks later, they, they uh, are a little more independent. We saw her one day crossing um, Pilgrim Creek. It had dropped significantly from the runoff. And I thought, hmm, maybe we should go down and see if they can cast some tracks. And they had been able to be sure that the tracks that we'd seen before were hers. And I always wanted to make some casts of her tracks. Uh, my sister Sue and I went down and, and uh, we found her tracks in the mud and we found a, uh, one nice track with her cub right next to it. So we we uh, cast these tracks and uh, it's fun. It was, it's great to say these are 399's tracks. This is um, uh, the one we cast. And, um, you know, it's a fairly big track. She's not a huge bear. She's 375, maybe 400 pounds this time of year. But uh, great claws. And um, uh, it was really, uh, really, really cool. I'm gonna put that on my, uh, my mantle, maybe uh, make some, some bronzes or something out of that one. And here's the one with uh, her hind foot here. That was her front foot, but then found the, uh, one of her cubs right next to her. You see how much small that's. This is really tiny little, little foot here, and little claw marks of the of the cub. This is kind of a nice souvenir to have, and I hope to get some better ones uh, maybe in the coming weeks. But she's been really scarce the last couple of weeks.